Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Um, just wanted to do a quick video today um, on a really exciting young prospect in football right now called uh, Alejandro Garnacho. Now, anyone who's involved in football, whether you are a Manchester United fan or not, you can appreciate when there's a super talent bursting onto the scene. We've seen it with Messi, we saw it with Ronaldo. Those of a certain vintage will remember the likes of George Best. When a player comes along and looks like an incredible talent, the world sits up and goes, hmm, they take notice. And this is a player, and if you speak to Manchester United fans, they'll tell you that when he joined the club, which was a couple of years ago in the youth team, there was already a bit of fanfare about him. He joined from Atletico Madrid. They thought he was a special talent. United had to pay something like half a million pounds for his services, which is a lot of money for a young player. And his youth record for Manchester United is fantastic. He scored in the FA Youth Cup. Um, he scored in, whether it be involvements with the first team in pre-season friendlies, he's shown that he's got the talent and the temperament and the physicality at 18 years of age to handle himself. He is a precocious talent. And what we saw at the weekend with his goal against Fulham is a player who looks slowly but surely like he's gaining that maturity like Eric Ten Hag was saying, he needs to have the hunger, the desire, the humbleness and the attitude to go along with just talent. And the goal against Fulham, the assists against Aston Villa, the goal against Real Sociedad, we're starting to see a player become a key member of the Manchester United squad. So if you are a rival of Manchester United, that's not good news. But if you are a football fan looking for that next wave of talent, so we've got Haaland and Mbappe, that next wave of talent looking to become the next mini generation. He looks like he's at the forefront of that. Now, just a little bit of a background about him. He's a Spanish-born player, born in Spain. I think he was born in Madrid. Uh, he has an Argentine mother. So although he played for Spain in the youth teams, he's switched allegiances and he's now playing for Argentina. Looks like he's a regular in the under-20s there. And he's also been involved in the senior squad with Argentina. Now, this is a guy who up until the summer, hadn't made any senior appearances whatsoever. Um, and Argentina had already called him into World Cup qualifier squads, uh, part of their preliminary and then final squads for, for bona fide qualifiers. They knew the talent that this boy had. And he's now been training with the likes of Angel Di Maria, uh, alongside Lionel Messi as well. And they've gone on record with their comments and their opinions on what they think this guy might well be uh, be capable of in the future and United were well aware of his talent alongside alongside some of their other talented players like Zidane Iqbal and, and Hannibal they took um, Garnacho on their pre-season tour now of course it's now come out that his timekeeping and maybe an element of professionalism wasn't quite there and as a result Eric Ten Hag took him out of the firing line and said if you want to earn an opportunity you need to get back to that hard graft and show me that you're ready uh, for an opportunity in the first team and it looks like he started to grasp that it looks like the pennies dropped it looks like he is prepared to assimilate into that squad be a part of that squad attend meetings put the put the hours in on the training pitch those are the basic things that a professional needs to do if you go back to some other professionals who made the most of their talent people like Frank Lampard, people like Robbie Savage. You don't need to be all bells and whistles and glamour. If you put in those those hard yards and those hours and hours and hours of practice and maximise every little bit of talent that you've got, you can reach the very, very top. You can maximise your, your potential. And, you know, somebody, you know, like Robbie Savage is a great example, played loads and loads of Premier League games, played international football, Frank Lampard, you know, we know what career he had, the honours he won. If you've got that humbleness, that work ethic, that hunger, maximise your talent, you can get to the very top. And it looks like Garnacho is starting to do that now. He's got an element of the Erling Haaland about him in terms of that hunger and, and fire. It's not enough to play a pass or make a dribble. The goal against Fulham was a great example of that, where uh, he made some off-the-ball running, laid a ball in. He could have stopped at that point, but no. A, re a return pass was made and he sprinted as hard as he absolutely could off the ball 
And it's that hunger and wanting it more. They got him ahead of the defender. The finish was obviously excellent as well. Great composure. But that five to ten yard burst of pace, that hunger to, to, to say to the defender, I want that ball more than the defender. It's something that Erlen Haaland did at Dortmund. Something that he's starting to show at City as well. You know, he wants it more. And that's a huge thing as well. Um, in terms of a style of play, um, he reminds me very similar of another Manchester United talent they had a few years ago, which was Adnan Yanazai. Don't really see the Cristiano Ronaldo sort of comparisons. He's not a show pony. He looks like somebody who's perhaps got a bit more of a creative element. The, the, the assist that he made for Scott McTominay in the Carabao Cup against Aston Villa, where he picked the ball up in the channel and saw a 20 or 30 yard ball round the corner over the defender's head for McTominay to score. That's a creative kind of thing. That's something that we might see Messi do, drop deep and play that sort of pass. Not so much about being all about him needing to be uh, beating somebody two or three times or getting on the end of something per se in the way that Ronaldo was. He's got a bit more of the Adnan Yanazai about him. Very, very technical. Doesn't necessarily have to rely on his pace so much. Left foot, right foot, play on either flank. Obviously, we've seen the creativity with those assists against Aston Villa as well. Um, but he reminds me a bit more of the Yanazai. And I think the difference between them is, although Yanazai had a fantastic campaign in what was a bad campaign under David Moyes, the subsequent managers he had, such as Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho, perhaps weren't the nurturing type of manager that he needed. And as a result, we've seen Yanazai's career sort of become a, a what might have been definitely didn't fulfill his potential whereas Garnacho looks like he's got that humbleness and that work rate and that desire coupled with a manager who will push him who will try and extrapolate that talent out of him it looks like United have got a gem and it looks like there is a raw diamond a talent which could take the world by storm uh, he's already got a couple of senior goals to his name already a couple of assists to his name already and United already look like a threat when he plays but I don't want to waste too much time just talking about ifs buts and maybes and what might be it looks like there's a really raw diamond talent which might take the Premier League and the Europa League by storm um, I just want to know what you guys think is it too early to, to heap that sort of pressure on him personally I think there's a lot of similarities with some of the other generational talents that we've seen He's got the right environment because United are desperate for success and they love players that come through the youth team. He's got the right manager. Eric Ten Hag loves to promote youth um, and he will give players that kind of encouragement and platform so if they earn their stripes, they'll get to play. And I think he'll earn a fair number of appearances this season and beyond as long as he keeps his feet on the ground. As long as he signs a new contract, obviously there's rumours that Real Madrid or Barcelona might be sniffing around because his contract could, could expire in the summer. But he's got the word at his feet. He's in the right environment with the right manager in a club that is crying out for talent that can come through and perform regularly. And then it, the world is his oyster in terms of where he wants to go and what he wants to do. But to me, it looks like we've got a starlet on our hands. I think that's great for the Premier League at the moment. That A lot of the talent is based here along with some of the best coaches. If you're a Liverpool or an Arsenal or Chelsea fan, perhaps you're not so happy that United have got such a player. But again, let me know what you think. Are you excited to see such a talent grace the Premier League? What do you think the future's got in store? Do you think he'll go on to have a career like Ronaldo? Or do you think it might end up being a bit like an Adnan Yanazai, where it could have been a case of what might have been? What do you think? Let me know. But I think whichever way, it's going to be an exciting few months um, and seasons ahead to see how this guy potentially might develop. Anyway, I'll catch you all soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, and I'll see you very, very soon.